is Hollywood. Your pal Matthias Bohm-Bell with you, and from Paramount, a studio associated with the best that movies may offer, we have Nebraska, a new release from the director of The Descendants, Alexander Payne. It's the story of a man played wonderfully by Bruce Dern, arriving at old age with less than the normal allotment of marbles. He's inspired to action by a magazine publisher's sweepstakes notification that informs him he's won big if the numbers on his certificate match the winning numbers. All is okay, except he didn't get that last part. Fueled by stalwart gumption, he sets out to leave Billings, Montana to get to Lincoln, Nebraska to claim his prize. Dad. Dad. Leave me alone. <coughs> Come on. Let me take you home. I'm going to Lincoln. It's the last thing I do. I don't care what you people think. Listen to me, you didn't win anything. It's a complete scam, so you gotta stop this, okay? I'm running out of time. You didn't have a suitcase. I'm not staying there. Dad, I can't let you go. It's none of your business. Yes, it is, I'm your son. Well, then why don't you take me? I can't just drop everything and drive to Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, what else you got going on? And so begins a very interesting father and son adventure. The son there, played by Will Forte, who you may have seen on television in Saturday Night Live. This movie, to me, represents the very heart of the United States, told plainly and simply. It perfectly captures the mood, time, and place of the locales that are used. The movie, which was shot in black and white, using the widescreen Panavision process and lenses, although digitally captured, allows us to focus without distraction of color on the genius of the performances. It enforces the austere and plain but honest generation that it places on the screen. There are many laughs, and the best kind of laughter, that which acknowledges truth in the human condition, to which we all may relate so very well. As the story progresses, we see that his family, mostly out of concern, get together as he follows his full speed ahead goal. In this scene, Dern's wife in the story, played with spunk by Jane Squibb, arrives to join the adventure at a midway point, Plainview, Nebraska, where some in-laws live. Before going on to the house, she stops by the graveyard to pay her respects to past friends and family, and offers, without any threshold of tact, what she really thinks with the same directness as her in-laws. There's Woody's little sister, Rose. She was only 19 when she was killed in a car wreck near Wassa. What a whore. Mom. No, I like Rose, but my God, she was a slut. Come on. Now, I'm just telling you the truth. Where's your family? Oh, they're over in the Catholic cemetery. Catholics wouldn't be caught dead around all these damn Lutherans. Here's Delmer, Woody's cousin. He was a drunk. One time we were wrestling and he felt me up. Grabbed a handful of boob and Woody was right there and didn't have a clue, did you, Woody? <laughs> you see what I mean? The entire movie's in the same vein. Direct and absolutely delightful. I think it really is fine work from all involved and absolutely something you must not miss. It was also wonderful to see older actors get some work. 
You'll see Ron Howard's father, Rance Howard, in the role of Uncle Ray, and Stacy Keach as one of Dern's early business partners with a checkered past. A particularly touching turn comes from an actress with such sweetness and grace you'll long remember her, Angela McEwen, who plays the town's newspaper editor. You'll thoroughly enjoy this, and it is paced perfectly with no need for explosions, cars rolling over, special effects, or loudness. It's a simple, direct story, well told, with the heart of the USA right on its sleeve. I knew I was in for something good when the Paramount logo appeared not in its present incarnation, but the way it looked in black and white near the time of the arrival of VistaVision, Paramount's early non-anamorphic widescreen process of 1954, proclaiming at the beginning and end of a movie, a Paramount release. Now, before I send you to find where it's playing near you, I had a wonderful personal surprise connected to this movie I'd like to share with you. One of the filming locations is Plainview, Nebraska. Although the paternal side of my family comes from Santiago, Chile, my maternal grandmother, Lucille Gertrude Nichols, later Stocking, was born in 1908, and her brothers and sisters grew up in Plainview, Nebraska in the early teens and 20s. The exterior of the home they lived in is used in this movie. Watch for the White House with a porch and a few columns where the two stay with their in-laws. Here is my grandmother, her brother Bill and sister Ruth, in front of this same house used in the movie when they revisited it in old age in the 1970s, not unlike the players in the movie. You might say that this movie hit home for me. So from Paramount Vantage, don't miss Nebraska with Bruce Dern in the role of his life. This is your pal, Matthias Bohm-Bell, bidding you a fond farewell.